Marcellus Wiley. Wow, it's about time. It is finally about time. Welcome to Kyle's Take. Today, I got a little clip of a finally an athlete speaking out against Black Lives Matter. And you know what? He actually read and did his research. The video is Marcellus Wiley on ESPN giving his take on Black Lives Matter. And it's beautiful as one to remember. So we'll all take a look at it together, and then after, I'll give you my take on it. I'll start with you. Yeah. Is this a good idea? Ah, uh, it's not a good idea. There's a problem with when you start to go down this road of the freedom of expression, freedom of speech, and how much social space is allowed for those who don't support in that same space. And in terms of identity politics, we know what identity politics does. Uh, it, it divides and it polarizes. No matter how you want to look at it, that's just the effect of it, no matter how great the intentions are. And we all know the road to hell is paved with good intentions. intentions. I don't know how many people really look into the mission statement of Black Lives Matter, but I did. And when you look into it, there's a couple things that jump out to me. And I'm a black man who's been black and my life has mattered since 1974. Two things. My family structure is so vital, important to me. Not only the one I grew up in, but the one I'm trying to create right now. Being a father and a husband, that's my mission in life right now. Quote, we dismantle the patriarchal practice. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement. Children from single parent homes versus two parent homes. Five times more likely to commit suicide. Six times more likely to be in poverty. Nine times more likely to drop out of high school. Ten times more likely to abuse chemical substances. Fourteen times more likely to commit rape. Twenty times more likely to end up in prison. And 32 times more likely to run away from home. Because a lot of my friends didn't have family structures that were nuclear like mine. And they found themselves outside of their dreams and goals and aspirations. So when I see that, or as a mission statement for Black Lives Matter... It makes me scratch my head when I also see their mission is to eradicate white supremacy. In 2020, white supremacy is the mission. Woo, that's a lot of digging through minutia right there. I am on a show that I'm hosting along with another black guy who is hosting with me who replaced another black guy. And that's just one example of it. So I understand. I respect your space. I respect what you're protesting for. But will you respect others who don't support that same protest? It's about time. It's about time. It's too bad Marcellus Wiley isn't in a league right now and he's retired, but it's about time. The NBA right now is going to put Black Lives Matter on the courts when they resume play in Orlando, and they also will allow players to put names of social justice issue victims on the backs of their jerseys. And I stand right with Marcellus. Black Lives Matter does not have the right things for black people. They want to destroy what black people need most, including nuclear families, the black job force, label black rights in with civil rights for gays and transgenders. And then the craziest thing about Black Lives Matter is they claim to be for all of these families and where are the donations going? All of these families down to George Floyd has not gotten any money from Black Lives Matter. Do the research. It's taken more independent people starting GoFundMes for these families to get any type of assistance. But Black Lives Matter, right? They're getting millions and millions and millions of dollars of donations. Where is the money going? I'll tell you where it's probably going. Some politicians are lining their pockets right now with, the, with that money. Pelosi and Joe Biden and Schumer and all of them probably made another 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 million dollars each off of Black Lives Matter. Meanwhile, my president is not getting paid at all to do his job. So where do the Black Lives Matter? To be honest, when sports come back, I don't really care too much to watch it. I'm already not watching the NBA. I'm not watching too much of the NFL. I'll just keep on doing what I've been doing since the coronavirus pandemic, scamdemic, whatever you call it, started. Some of the young players that are playing currently need to listen to older players or older people in general, like Marcellus Wally, who's telling you, all you have to do is go read. All you have to do is go and read and see what they're about. But people don't even want to do that. Marcellus Wally, a thousand percent correct.
But you let me know. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I in the middle? Do you agree? Disagree? Do you think Black Lives Matter is a legit organization that truly cares for black people and should be fully endorsed at every level? Or do you think BLM is the worst thing that's happened for black people since we married the Democratic Party? Either way, let me know your take in the comments below. And as always, be safe.